Hello friends, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching the ISTQB Foundation series. Uh, we are still here in chapter 1 and we are doing finally the last topic of this particular chapter that is going to work with the psychology of testing. So psychology of testing is uh, a lot important thing to be discussed as a part of it and generally to all the testers as well. So let's get into the topic and understand in more detail. Now generally when you talk about the psychology of testing it generally means that we need to have a different mindset altogether to find a different effect. Now, it's always understood that it is difficult for a person to find mistakes when the person deals with finding corrections in their own work. And it's a very a very simple example. When you write your examination and you try finding out mistakes in your own work before you submit the paper, uh, you generally try revising it, but of course, you cannot tend to find your own mistakes. And we generally uh, look forward to have somebody else like teachers to correct our paper and they can very well find out where we can, where we have gone wrong. So it's really important for having the same approach, same psychology in testing as well and within the organization. So developers will have the mindset of uh, creating the content and testing generally look for the, you know, looking forward to create issues or try to conduct failures so that they can find as many defects as possible. And generally, it's like a developer have a positive approach towards the application and we have a negative approach. We always look forward that the system should not work so that we can make it better before it comes to a release. So there are a lot of such factors to be taken care of when it comes to human psychology and testing in relation. But it does become a challenge when a tester plays a vital role like this for a longer duration of time. You know, I, I personally consider when you talk about testers for uh, doing testing on an application and always having that negative attitude towards their work for a longer duration, then maybe they tend to be negative towards people as well. And we do not want that. The only thing is uh, that uh, where people start pointing out mistakes in individual rather than the product and that would become a big challenge because as you start pointing out fingers on somebody else then we may lead into troubles within organization and may hamper or forget the uh, common goal towards the application. So we recommend at this point of time that you generally look forward to have a positive attitude towards people with negative approach on the application and it should be only limited to an application. So generally uh, there are certain good practices which may uh, be practiced within the organization working with mixed team of developer and tester together. So let's look at the good approaches what we must take care of when working with uh, mixed team of developer and testers together. So generally uh, Altogether, what we say is that we must have a positive relationship with our colleagues and different stakeholders. No matter you're trying to find out mistakes in their work, finding out defects in the code, what is developed by the developer. But as you report the defects to them, you do not put it as a criticism of that particular person. You also make sure that uh, you, you understand how exactly this person feels when that person gets this information because it might come back to you some other day. So we have certain good practices to be taken care of when it is coming to such scenarios. We say you start with the collaboration rather than battles. Like instead of fighting with each other, you start or give more importance to collaboration rather than uh, pointing finger on each other of us. Reminding everyone of a common goal for the better quality system. So it's all about, about like, you know, even if somebody is trying to do something wrong, you convince them to understand that it is about defining quality in the product, not about having a personal rivalry here. Communicate the findings on the product in a neutral, fact-focused way without criticizing the person who created it. So it just means that where you write some reports, you define certain reports uh, in defects, then you do not criticize the person who created it. So, for example, uh, maybe for instance, you say that uh, it is uh, the defect is in the developer's work, 
and deflect, reflect, defect is in a module and of course that makes a big difference because you are pointing a finger on the developer stating his name or her name and stating that this person has done this mistake rather than putting it on the person name why don't we just put it as this module has a problem and the developer can help us fixing it so having a positive attitude by communicating certain negative things may not lead to any kind of conflict so we just try to make sure that how positive we can be with a destructive approach and i have a good slogan here you know being positive with destructive approach so anyways uh, to make sure that uh, we have a good communication as well uh, we make sure that you confirm what you have communicated to the other person and you have understood that and also it works on the other way side as well like vice versa when you try to communicate something to a different stakeholder you acknowledge or you ask them to them to acknowledge that did you really understand what i wanted to communicate because sometimes the miscommunication could also lead to a big problem in the uh product quality or fixing of defects and generally this is experience when we have a higher degree of independence uh where teams are completely independent or maybe geographically distributed so it does become a challenge to understand what we were trying to convey so you make sure that the person really understands what you wanted to say and acknowledge acknowledges the same and proceeds with the same information last but not the least we are talking about testers and developers mindset here of course uh, developers uh, are always uh, this constructive towards the application and testers are destructive so of course they have a different mindset together towards the application so one team always looks forward to make it try to complete it on time and one team always try to make sure that as many failures can be found that's good for us so that we can fix it within the release so that the end user doesn't face any challenges so we always look forward to find as many failures as possible so that defect can be identified and fixed but yes to certain extent what we say is maybe we can also ask developers to work for it and say that why don't you try to minimize your uh, you know mistakes so that defects can be eliminated earlier at a different life cycle stage so for, say, for example when it comes to reviews static testing we encourage the author instead of criticizing them that your product has these mistakes that doesn't mean that uh, it's just the mistakes we are reporting we are also helping you improvise your work product so that in next phase or when you work for the next similar project you can eliminate this as your own and so we can save time we can save money we can also improvise our work products towards the uh, process maturity as well and add a lot of value to the quality of the product so to a certain extent we say that if with right mindset developers can set test their own code but generally it's not mandatory because they don't come up with it you you treat it as your own baby when you create a code so you don't really uh, all you know happen to find mistakes in your own baby so you say that is my baby and i know that it's going to be good so generally you you cannot find mistakes in your own work or you create so generally that's the reason we have testers as a separate team working on finding mistakes but uh, but we say that to certain extent unit testing should be given because we do have a drawback of highly independent testing that developers may lose the sense of quality on their product so anyways uh, that's all from here team that was from the psychology of testing to understand that how testing really works and what mindsets does the developer and tester have and what good conducts we must take care of to have a good correlation between the stakeholders within the organization So that's all from here team keep listening keep uh, following the channel in case you're not subscribed do subscribe to the channel we have five more chapters to go and uh, after every chapter we'll be looking at the sample question so this is the last tutorial of this chapter next we'll be looking into the sample questions of this chapter so stay tuned uh, thanks for watching the video team happy learning